Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a little bit more half stone. This week's Tavern Brawl is again very interesting. I thought it's fun. I've been having a good time with it, and I wanted to create a video for it. So, clockwork card dealer. The way this works is on turn one, you draw a one mana card. On turn two, you draw a two mana card. On turn three, you draw a three mana card, etc. Uh, it's actually really, really nice. Now, the thing is, if you have multiple one mana cards in your deck, then you're only going to draw one of them. Right, um, of course, I mean, you're not going to draw all of them, but you're going to draw a random one of those. Now, at the same time, if you only put one in your deck, then boom, turn one, this is the card you draw. Hmm, <laughs> isn't that interesting? So, uh, this is, I, I kind of want to throw off, sh uh, show off three decks today. Uh, well, I can confuse my words there. But I want to show off three different decks. This is going to be the first one. This is uh, a Warlock deck that is based on an insane early game tempo play. So we have one Void Walker, one Demon Fuse, and one Earthen Ring Farseer. Uh, the, the play is you play the Void Walker, two and two you Demon Fuse them, which puts your opponent at one mana ahead, right? But that doesn't matter. Because on turn three, they're going to draw a three mana card. It doesn't matter if they have four mana. That doesn't. That's not relevant, right? They're gonna draw a three mana card. So most of the time, your opponent's just gonna float one mana, and you get demon fused for free, which um, that stops being true uh, towards the later stages of the game. But at the same time, it doesn't matter because uh, at that time, hopefully, we have gotten enough out of that huge tempo play to win. Uh, I've played, uh, I think, only two two games. I've won both. I'm not sure. Maybe three. Uh, I definitely have a positive win rate though, so I guess I have at most lost one game. Other than that, uh, I just filled up the curve with like powerful cards. On turn 4, Void Caller, and then of course we got Doomguard, which we can pull with the Void Caller. We also have Lord Jaraxxus and Marganus, which we can pull with the Void Caller. And other than that, we just have like huge shit, like Sludge Belcher, Lower Fab, Siphon Soul, Forest Sun, Sunwalker, Jouster. The Jouster, of course, <laughs> with, a, with a curve like this, it's gonna win a lot of the lot of the uh, jousts. Rent Blackhand is really nice because, you know, you have a very high chance of having a dragon in hand. And uh, since the opponents are probably playing uh, a deck similar to this, you just kill a legendary, which is a huge tempo play. Dr. Boom is amazing. Black Knight Sylvanas. Sylvanas is actually crazy. I should probably remove the other six drops, but then I don't know what else to fill it up with. But Sylvanas is actually bonkers. Anyway, so this is the first deck I want to show off today. Let's see if it works out for us. That would be fantastic if it did. And then I have two other decks in mind. One which is kind of silly. And then another one which is also kind of really like just stupidly good. Um, but yeah, this one is kind of a mixture of both. Um, now, the thing about this Tavern Brawl that I personally don't like too much is yeah, the huge advantage if you go, go first. You always want to go first. Going first it's, it's so much better than going second. And no! Uh, Yes, okay. So, what of these guards do I want to keep? Which ones? Um, generally speaking, you want to keep the ones that are... Uh, I don't know, they have like... Uh, Morton Giant is very good to keep, I guess. Right, like the thing is, Morton Giant, I'm gonna never draw through the, through the thing. So, I just want to have them, because then once I draw blow, I get to play them. Right. So, turn one. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> So we play ourselves a Void Walker. Now, Void Walker in of itself is not amazing, right? But uh, it's it's really good value. One free and taunt is super good, super 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 good. There goes his Void Walker. Now I'm not uh, too surprised to see another Warlock here because this strategy is just ridiculous. So you play the Demon Fuse, boom, blow that up. Now he doesn't really have anything to do. Uh, I'm pretty sure he had a similar strategy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you see, like we we have this huge Void Walker now, a four five. Now, whatever he plays, I'm gonna run the Void Walker into because it won't have five attack unless it's like a magma or an ice rager, but who the fuck plays that? Right? And then I'll use the Earthen Ring Farseer to heal this guy. That is a problem. <laughs> but yeah, we'll just we'll just hit him. And heal this. And uh then then, then we're dead. Then we are dead, probably. <laughs> no, we're actually fine. Uh, this this may seem like a big deal. I actually think this is really good for us because we now get to kill Malganus, right? Like we get to kill Malganus right now. That is very good. That is very good. Like just to have him out of the way. Now we have our Void Walker, a Void Void Caller. 
Uh, yeah, I don't play too much Warlock. Uh, currently, I'm mostly just all about Warrior. Uh, but yeah, so turn 5. Uh, this guy is a problem. I have a way of dealing with him. I probably should. I know this, this, this is shitty. This is really, really shitty. But I don't have anything else I can do here. And uh, I need to get rid of this. All right. I need to get rid of that. That's too dangerous because these decks are really high on curve, right? They're playing a lot of scary stuff and you don't want to give them an opportunity to just run them out. So uh, I've actually think I've actually been thinking about summoning, uh, summoning Portal as well, but I think the Void Caller most of the time is just better because you tend to have a demon in hand. Though I, I don't have one right now. Oh, weapon? Oh my god! Well, I got Death, death Spider, that's actually fine. Wow! That's crazy, though. You got really lucky there. Okay, so turn six. We're going to draw something really good, I assume. That is uh, pretty decent. I'll take that. So we're going to hit right here. And... Um, yeah, this is kind of shitty. Because I assume I'll win the Joust, yeah. I tend to. <laughs> but I don't have any way of killing the Mistress of Pain. I didn't have, I didn't have eight damage. I only have seven, so... I think this is going to stay alive. And the problem with that is he's going to... Run that in here and then... Oh, or that. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a summon from the Void Caller. So yeah, that summoning portal really fucked me over. But at the same time, I think this is okay. Turn 7, we're gonna draw Dr. Boom. Um, or Rent Black Hand, which would have been significantly worse. But I'm fine with Dr. Boom. Yeah, that, that's one of the reasons why you would, wouldn't want to play Rent. Because then you kind of like put Dr. Boom at a 50-50. But, yeah, whatever. But yeah, we have Dr. Boom in play now. Uh, he doesn't really have a good way of dealing with him. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just an insane card. Turn 8, we're going to draw either Chromagus or Ragnaros. Which I am actually fine with both. I think both are going to be quite okay. And uh, turn 9, we have a lot. Turn 10 is where we just start randomly drawing cards again. Because we don't play any 10 mana minions in this deck. There are not that many of those anyway. Oh my god, a weapon? Oh, I just realized how ridiculous that is. Holy shit. Oh my god, that's crazy. Wow, that, that's Blinktron with, with the floating watches, actually. Wow, that's insane. Uh, no, that's, that's actually mind-blowing. Oh, I never thought about it that way. That's really interesting. Really, really quite interesting. Okay, turn 9, what can he have? So Chromagus, of course, is going to give us twice the value out of all of these like really high-value cards already. Uh, which is quite silly. And yeah, so we're going to get to keep him alive. It's going to hit us? No. But yeah, we get a second Mulganus. I'll just run one of those out. I have no reason to not, right? I don't really have any other plays, and I have two of them. <laughs> So we have Mulliganus in play now, which is pretty damn good. And again, next turn we just randomly draw cards again, but that's fine. Because it's looking like next turn is a pretty... Oh, but I think I kept Mulliganus. Or I don't know, when do I lose it? No, I didn't. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's really bad. That was literally a 50-50 to win the game right there. Hmm, that's fine. Oh, okay, so which one do I get rid of? Morganus or the Void Terror? I think it's gotta be the Void Terror, right? I don't know. Kind of gives him a free tap, but... Morganus is just easier. Like, the thing is, these two can't kill Morganus, right? They can't kill that 10-10. Which is a problem. God, I... Am. Yeah, Housestone can be a bit sillier at times. Like, that was literally a 50-50 to win the game. Okay. Sacrificial Pact. Oh, I lost. Have I? Yeah, I've lost. Damn it! <laughs> oh, man, that 50-50. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. You got really lucky right there. Okay, but I think you can see the, the idea of this kind of deck. Right, like, again, that was a 50-50, but... So, uh, let me go ahead and delete this. 
go into something that's uh, also quite a bit of fun. So, uh, this here right here is, of course, um, Malfurion. Now, what in the living hell are we going to do with Malfurion? Malfurion has one very, very interesting card, which I apparently do not own. So, let me craft it really quick. Um, I do not have enough. Ah. <sighs> Okay, yeah, 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 give me one second now. I'll go ahead and, and craft the Astral Communion, don't worry. But yeah, it's about the Astral Communion, right? That's what I'm looking for here. All right, what do I want to disenchant? Do I need gold enough to... <laughs> Fuck, get out. And uh, I think there was one of those, which is just bad. I mean, Astral Communion is bad as well, but, you know, whatever. So, uh, let me go ahead and put in an Astral Communion. We're going to draw this on turn 4, right? Now, this is a, a pretty bad play, usually. But what makes it fun is on turn 5, we, we know we're going to draw a 5 mana card. So, now we know which card we're going to draw. All right, now we just build a deck that is kind of fine with, uh, you know, curving up to 4, right? What could we do there? Well, it's pretty simple. We just put in a Zombie Jaw. One of them, right? Turn two? Hmm. Well, I don't know. We could go with like a Haunted Creeper, a Flame Juggler. Actually, quite a bit here. Um, I'm actually not quite convinced I know which one I want to go with. Oh. Huh. Could go with Mana Wraith, which I think is actually like a really fun idea. Alright, Mana Wraith, just to make the curve go like all off. <laughs> That's actually a really neat idea. I might just try that. Let's give that a shot. And then Mark of Nature. 4, 2, and 3. Um, yeah, why not? That's our curve. So, what's next? Well, uh, oh no, I don't want living words. That's our... That's that's turn one to five. Now this is this is where it gets, starts getting interesting. Turn six, what can we do? Hmm. Well, we definitely want to play. Uh, I don't actually know if we want to play Force of Nature, but what we do want, what we do want, is uh, probably Sylvanas, right? Boom. Maybe a black black knight. Oh, no, I generally like black knight, but well, probably because I've been playing for too long. Turn seven, Doctor Boom. Now, this is where it gets difficult, because it's just like, oh, well, let me go ahead and fill up the deck somehow, right? Like, <laughs> also, turn 7 Druid is actually um pretty important that we have these. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Tree of Life, maybe? No, oh, I don't see a problem with that. Maybe one, right? Can't go too wrong. And uh, now we still have pff, so many cards that we need to, need to fill up with. Or feel like put into the deck. Uh, I still like the idea of rent, if I'm completely honest. Maybe, like, this is turn one to six, like, entirely planned out. And then turn seven uh, for the rest of the game, it's just like, well, I don't know, this, so maybe some of that. <laughs> um, um, I should maybe play some more taunts, honestly. Volcanic Lumber? I don't, I don't know. Fuck it. Okay, you see, like, this this part is totally not thought out at all. It's just like, let's put in an Aviana, I don't care. Why not? Okay, I go wrong there. <laughs> Why Sarah, North Sea Kraken? How about another North Sea Kraken? Wait, did I put in Majordomo? I do not, under any circumstances, want Majordomo in my deck. That sounds like a nice way to lose the game. Okay, uh, that's our curve. <laughs> let's go. So yeah, of course, like the the bottom part of the deck is just complete nonsense right now. But I just want to show off like the 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 first six, right? Like that's the that's the idea. That's the part that I personally care about. That I personally think is very interesting, and we'll just see how that plays out. Should be fine, honestly. Uh, we do want to go first again. Again, going second is so much worse because the coin barely does anything. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, um, I do not want Ancient of Lore. Uh, I'm gonna keep the North Sea Kraken. So what I want to keep right now are actually cards I want to discard, right? Like, I don't care about Iron Bark Protector and, like, North Sea Kraken. These are bad cards. I don't want those. I'm kind of sad I drew the, uh, the Ancient of Lore, right? But I, I want to keep bad cards that I just want to get rid of with the Astral Communion. Uh, please don't kill it. Yes. That's fine. I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. Um, okay. 
Good luck with that. <laughs> Good luck with that. Your turn two play doesn't work now, right? Like you don't. If you had one planned out, unless it's a spell, you can't do it. Um, Shadow word pain. That's okay. So that means he is not actually healing. It's interesting. He's gonna hit that. He's gonna hit that. Oh, okay, he's gonna go there. Uh, that's fine. So I think I'll mark of nature this guy for health. And just hit him in the face. So the idea of that is, of course, to keep him long uh, alive for longer, right? And um, mana wraith is just so disruptive. I, you might say, oh, well, okay, so you didn't really, you just got blown up immediately. Yeah, I did, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter. Because, you see, like, he still doesn't have anything scary in play. He's not gonna kill us with what he has right now. That's just not gonna happen. And that's what I care about. Boom. 10 mana. <laughs> so. Next up is gonna be our big draw. Then we hero power again. And then we start playing stuff. Huh. Okay, that's fine. So again, like the the thing, the only thing I'm worried about right now is not dying, right? Like I just don't want to die. And we got Doctor Boom. That's nice. We got that Tree of Life. Oh, that's pretty decent. We might we're probably gonna Doctor Boom next turn. Honestly, I don't know. I'll draw. I draw Savannah. It's just like nice having her. I might just play her anyway. Yeah, you know what? This seems like a good Sylvanas turn. Though you'd probably just ignore her, which isn't that fun. But this is where the Tree of Life comes in, right? That's gonna buy me a pretty nice second life. And the thing about all of these huge dudes is that they are often actually just gonna get ignored, right? Like, right now he doesn't have a way of killing Sylvanas and, like, not get uh, stopping me from getting value out of her. Right? Like, he needs to actually... I don't know. I don't know what he's actually gonna do here. This is just... A little unfortunate for him, I guess. <laughs> but I appreciate that, right? That's good for me. So. Oh, that's bad, though. Oh, that's really bad. Because now he's gonna steal back whatever I steal. Um. So I could gamble with, like, scenarios and Dr. Boom or something like that. Oh, let's go for it. Okay, um... Yep. I tried it with Boombot for a Northshire Cleric. I mean, that's okay. As long as this doesn't hit me in the face for four. Please? Well, that's okay. <laughs> I'm fine with that. So next time we're probably gonna have the Tree of Life. But as you can see, like we're slowly starting to... Uh, uh, okay, maybe maybe not. Maybe, maybe we are actually not doing any of, of a... Maybe this just doesn't work. But uh, now, of course, this list is not perfect, right? Like, I just wanted to show off the idea, the concept. But uh, we'll have to Tree of Life here. That's just... That's just how it's gonna be. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Oh, man. Sneed. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Hmm. Okay, I, I like that. Just blow this up. Sounds like, I, sounds like a plan. That, that, wasn't, that wasn't a great boom bug, but you know, I'm still alive, so I got that going for me. So that means actually I'm on turn 9 now. Pretty good to know. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna die though. <laughs> oh, nice! I don't have a dragon. Oh man. Really? So I'll just play KT right here, right? I'll just have to pray he can't kill me. I mean, he does have 9 damage right now. Hmm. But if he doesn't kill me, uh, this is actually like a pretty good spot to come back into the game from. Like, I, I do... Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, Nefarian. Yeah, thank you, Nefarian. Oh. 
Well, that uh, kind of worked a little, but again, it's just about the idea. Just about the idea. So let's actually play a good deck now. Alright, let's actually play a good deck. Now, what would a good deck be? Well, there's one that I think everybody has in mind here. And that is Paladin. There's one deck in the game right now that is almost impossible to beat if they curve perfectly. It just won't happen. Right? It's just too hard. What is this? Well, uh, it's pretty simple. It is, um, you know, a Paladin deck. Uh, namely, Secret Paladin. The Riddler Paladin, as he's called. And uh, it is, frankly, ridiculous. So... What we're gonna do is we're gonna build a paladin like that that just has the perfect curve every single time. Where's my shredder? There he is. Where is my lower fab? There he is. Where is my mysterious challenger? Where's my Dr. Boom? And where's my Turion? Dr. Boom. So this is a perfect curve. It doesn't get better than this. It just doesn't. This is perfect. Every single game, it's going to be, you know, just murdering people left and right. And now we just put in a higher value, like higher cost cards. Right, and um, the thing about this deck, seriously, you, you can't beat it if it curves like this, right? Like, if... No, actually, um, I can't play 8 mana. Ah, oh, shit, well, that's a problem. Okay, I guess we're playing some Giants. My Sarah, Nossi, Kraken. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay, so if the deck curves like this, it cannot possibly be beat. It just doesn't work. Right? It it just can't happen. Um, well, I, I guess it could happen, but it doesn't. It doesn't happen. If you play whatever turn one, doesn't really matter, right? We're probably going to play Secret. Uh, if we're lucky, we start second, we have a mini board in hand. But um, we play mini board turn two, Master, Shredder, Lower Fab, Mysterious Challenger, Dr. Boom, Tyrion. It kills 100% of the time. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And uh, that's what we are kind of like, what we, what we are forcing these mechanics to do for us. We're going to curve Secret Paladin perfectly every single game. Uh, now, I haven't actually tried it yet, but uh, I just the theory, the idea. Is it going to work? Maybe. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> I'm hoping it does, because else I look like an idiot. But it, it, in theory, it should absolutely wreck. I should just destroy everybody, so... Okay. Shaman. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, there we go. Second. Oh, this is actually wonderful. So, I don't need any of these. I mean, I'm going to draw into them anyway, right? That's okay. I don't mind having one mysterious... I, I guess having a second one, but I don't think I'm going to need it, right? Like, that's the whole point. I don't, I'm not going to need it. Worst case scenario right now is I draw into my second repentance. Unless that happens, I think I... I got I won, like I got second, I got the shield mini bound. Like it's just I don't I don't know what could possibly happen where a shaman can keep up with this kind of kind of deck. Because a uh, Riddler Paladin is already one of the strongest decks in the game. It's actually crazy. Super easy to play too. Um But yeah. So Hello. Oh what a funk. Yeah, uh, you know, this is going to be a bit scary. Like, he's going to apply some pressure, but that's fine. We can handle it. We can handle this. Power Mace, okay. Uh, yeah, it's actually getting quite a bit of damage done with this. It's actually interesting what he's got going on as well. But now we have our army of dudes, right? Um, I'm actually, I'm actually a bit worried. Like the the biggest problem Max Shaman has uh, is inconsistency, right? You draw, don't draw into the cards that you want, but inconsistency is not really a thing in this. So, if you want to, you can build your deck to be 100% consistent, like we did, right? Is he gonna hit? Yeah. So that's gonna be a free four. 
Oh, that's shitty. <laughs> I don't have any anything I can really do right here. That's okay, though. I'll just pass this one. I've got our shredder. I know this isn't looking great right now, but don't worry. We're starting to get into the really scary territory with the challengers and stuff like that. Turn 5, what can he do? Rock Biter, okay. Doomsayer? Oh, come on, really? Parrot? That's literally the worst card I could have gotten. That is it. They got all the bad cards you can get out of it. The parrot is the worst. I guess that and novice engineer. Ah oh, man. That is actually just kind of sad. <laughs> oh man. Okay, we're getting run over quite a bit. Yeah. So this is where it starts being fun, hopefully. Let's see. Let us see. Can he do anything? Are we dead? <laughs> yes. Yes, we are. Well, people, I guess other people have this figured out better than I do. I have. Anyway, I just wanted to show off some ideas. Actually, I'm not happy with this. I don't have much time left, but I have enough time for one more game. I want to win at least once. Ah, I really should go, though. Whatever, we can do one. We can do one. No, seriously, that one is fine. There's nothing to worry about. But afterwards, I gotta go. <laughs> Man, I'm sad now that that didn't work. That's a little silly. Okay, warrior. Okay, we go first. Uh, I'm actually quite happy about having a bench if I'm going first. Like, that's definitely the secret I want to play. If I have to play a secret, I want it to be a bench. Kind of sucks that I drew both competitive spirits, though. Means I'm not gonna get one of the mysterious challenger. Hello. Shield brought. Okay, weaponize you. Yeah. Yup, yup, yup. Honestly, this is not very different from just regular warrior. <laughs> I <laughs> I see no difference. <laughs> okay. So if he hits me, if he hits one of those now, then I'll get the the four free next turn. We play the. Who even plays that card? What's that card even do? Okay, I'll get rid of it though. I think. Should I? Oh, no, I did. <laughs> Guess it's too late now, but... What? Didn't even know that card existed. Like, that's how insignificant that card is. That's how little it matters. Is that seriously, is all you're gonna do? Well, I think he lost. Is he just rushing face? Why is he not attacking with that weapon? I'm a little, little confused by his place here, man. What are these cards? I've never seen these cards before. <laughs> I don't know what these cards do. Do I kill it? I guess. I don't know how scary this is. I guess I kill it. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll just kill it. I'm kind of scared because I don't know if it's scary. I don't know. I don't know. What is the combo there? I I'll just kill it. Get out. 
Get out! Okay. I'll just ignore Sylvanas. Should I? Uh. Oh, might have regret that one. Oh no! Really? Look at all of this nonsense I've gotten. You steal that one. I hate Sylvanas. I probably should have ignored her. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, get out. Get down! <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the circus, man. How is it? Please don't brawl. Okay, come on. Four mana to the... Uh, four damage. Oh, man. Okay, the jouster. I don't know, you actually don't have that high of a chance of... Okay. Okay, that is my one shielded mini ball in there. <laughs> okay, he's gonna arm one. Yeah, that's pretty reasonable. Now, the big question, of course, is, is he dead? And I think the answer is no. But I have put my faith in the light, so there's that. Huh? Huh? I think I'll get rid of this. These two should be enough to kill. Yeah, this is like perfect curve. Right, like, again, this deck is almost unstoppable. <laughs> Unless you're playing against some weird max shaman that bloodlusts you. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what that was. It just got, got, got destroyed. Okay, so we won one. Uh, I gotta go now, though. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really think this brawl is fun. I've been having a good time with it. So, uh, anyway. See you around.